Rise of the Resistance, in my opinion, is the best attraction Disney has ever made. And I'm not alone there, I know that, because the line to get into Hollywood Studios, even as early as 5 or 6 in the morning, when the park opens at 8 in the morning, is way back all the way to security. The attraction's been open for a few weeks now, and yes, we are coming into the holiday season, but the popularity is not going away. And it goes to show that Disney has entered a new realm when it comes to amazing interactive experiences. It's funny to to think back now and remember how Disney was hyping up this attraction over and over and over again and a lot of us were saying to ourselves, I hope it turns out to be as good. I hope it looks as good as they're making it look and sure enough, all those dreams came true. But what does this mean for the future of Disney attractions? I still remember when Disney was originally talking about Rise of the Resistance and they were hyping it up and a lot of us were saying, I hope it turns out to be that good. Please let it be that good. And sure enough, it's that good and it goes to show because the crowds are non-stop. In my opinion, Rise of the Resistance is one of the best openings Disney has ever done. We were there for Pandora World of Avatar when it opened way back when, and the crowds were endless. We saw lines to get into the land itself. It was just nonstop, nonstop. But Disney has mastered it. There's no 10 hour line you actually have to stand in. You just get a virtual time, go back to sleep, go to a different park, go have breakfast, anything, and come back when it's your turn. It's all found through the phone. In my opinion, this opening could not have gone better. You do not have to wait in a 16 hour line. You just relax, enjoy the park. I love it. Disney, this was so well thought through. My big thought for today though, what does this mean for the future of attractions at Walt Disney World? Thinking about what Disney has planned in the future, it's clear to see that they understand how successful Rise was and they want to try and repeat it again and again. Look at Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. We already know, I've never been on it, but we know it's an immersive experience, a trackless system. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, immersive, totally new environment where you're three and a half D where you can actually see everything around you in a whole new level. Cosmic Rewind, we, we know almost nothing about it except if it's a backwards launch roller coaster, but it's clear to see that Disney wants to immerse us. They want to take it to the next level. Now, why do I bring this up today? Why are we talking about these immersive experiences and these amazing attractions? The reason is those crowds and the lines that they create. It's clear that if guests are willing to wake up at three in the morning on a random Tuesday to wait in a two hour line outside of Hollywood Studios in a cooler, not cold, but cooler environment for an attraction, Disney's going to have to think about those crowds now and in the future. And they're already doing a great job with the virtual queuing, but what's next beyond that? I remember in one of the episodes of the Imagineering story on Disney Plus, which is awesome by the way, and they were mentioning how guests don't want to wait in lines anymore. They want to do something else in line. And they were mentioning how, you know, there's a big line that takes up a lot of space, but they're able to put a lot of people into a smaller space and then the park flows more easily. But we're seeing a very different environment now with that virtual queuing system. We saw it for a while with fast passes, but that wasn't quite enough. You know, 60 days in advance, they were all going on for some of the most popular attractions, even Flight of Passage. Months in advance, those fast passes are all gone. So what is the future of waiting in line at Disney going to look like? In my opinion, there has to be a mix between virtual queuing and waiting in line. Because I feel like if you have virtual queues for everything, then what are guests going to do when they're not on an attraction? They're just going to roam around. Which, in a way, is a great idea because then they'll be shopping more, going to different experiences, dining, looking at the scenery. That's fantastic. We want that. But considering the flow of the park and traffic and the congestion of people just standing all around together, I don't think that would work too well. Now that being said, I believe that Disney is already ahead of all of this. I think they have thought way ahead of the curve here, and if you look at the future of Epcot, I think that gives us the glimpse into the future. If you consider some of the updates to attractions and future attractions coming to Epcot, like Cosmic Rewind, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, and the update to Spaceship Earth, let's just think about those three for a moment. Waiting in line for those three after they they've opened, I have a feeling will cost you a significant amount of time. But just imagine, just imagine for a moment, you have a virtual queue for all three. Then you just check in in the morning and you get a virtual queue for all three of those attractions. Just using those as the example, by the way, we have Mary Poppins and others as well, but those are the three examples. And then while you're waiting, you go to Moana's experience, where it's a walkthrough experience. You play with water. Then you go to the play pavilion and you interact with virtual characters or on the screen or you do something in 3D or virtual reality something like that. Whatever's coming to the play pavilion, you do there. So in reality, you are waiting. You are waiting for all three of these attractions, but you're having fun at the same time. If this is what the future looks like, I gotta tell you, I'm so excited about it because Disney wants those crowds. They want the crowds. You know, it's smart business practice, have the crowds, but they don't want to take
take away from the guest experience. I and mean, we've all heard about this. You know, you wait in four hour lines for an attraction that takes 30 seconds. And that's not what every guest wants to do. Not even most guests want to do that. I totally get it. Most guests want to experience the fun and then go on the ride when it's their turn. What if that is the future? I really, honestly, I hope that that is the future because I feel like this will put Disney over the top. They're already over the top in my opinion, but in terms of the casual vacationer to Florida, this is what they need to separate themselves, saying your time is yours, do what you want. Go on the ride when it's ready. We'll let you know, we'll send you a text. We will let you know when it's ready for you. Go have fun doing something else. I love it. I really hope that's what the future looks like at Disney. Those are my thoughts. I would love to hear from you. Do you think the future at Disney is all about that virtual queue? or would you actually prefer to wait in line? Or do you think that maybe it's a combination of both and fast passes? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.